Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash and I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Care. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. For the completion of this reaction, student, this reaction, minimum how many equivalent of this sodium ion is required? That is the question. I know this question is a little different. So, actually let me tell you this reaction is Based mediated elimination reaction. Based media base mediated elimination. Okay, and in this case, in presence of base, actually two molecules of HBr is released. Okay, so two molecules of HBr. So you can consider this reaction also dehydro bromination reaction why because hbr if you look at from this side one hbr actually it's an anti elimination so i'm not going mechanism so another one hbr is released let's go to the mechanism but before going to details you should know the key concept here the first proton abstraction so first proton abstraction for alkyl halides to alkene conversion alkene conversion in the first case this could be achieved using mild ways it's true because this reaction is not that much difficult and anti-elimination occurs but in the second case from this vinyl halide to alkyne conversion if you look at strong base is essential i shall explain everything and this strong base doesn't stop here it abstracts the alkyne ch proton also now let's go to the mechanism i guess then your doubt will be cleared so in the first step what happens first step anti-elimination occurs so you can consider that sir there is one hydrogen this is br and by anti-elimination this sodamide abstract this base by the way this sodamide is actually student remember it's a very strong base okay so it will attack abstract this proton it will come it will leave so in the first step what it will produce it will produce ch3 so this is actually an alkene so this side is br and there are two hydrogens so this step is the first step alkene via anti elimination now now in the next step what happens if you look at in the next step next step is also elimination but this elimination is little difficult here also this reaction became facile or easier since the sodamide is actually a very stronger base so it abstract this proton it push comes and it leaves so here it produces ch3 c triple bond ch now how many moles of bases are consumed so first here one equivalent here in the second step also one equivalent but the story is not finished here as i told at the beginning the sodium hydride so sodamide nanh2 is a very strong base and we know this this carbon is student sp carbon and this bond i repeat that this bond i'm talking it's a sp carbon hydrogen bond and these bond is students significantly acidic significantly acidic so what happens and in presence of strong base like what reaction condition we have taken this deprotonation occurs again in nh2 and what it produces ch3 c and any now you can ask me that sir why this last step reaction is equivalent because because of this last step another one equivalent of this base is needed now why this last step is essential for you need to understand or remember student one statement that acid base reactions are the fastest okay now you can say that sir this is also acid base yes true in the first step this proton is abstracted and corresponding you can say that sir corresponding carbon ion is produced then 
through elimination reaction or you may consider this E2 type pathway. This abstracted, it comes, it leaves. So it's a difficult, but here is a pretty simple. So these NH2 minus abstract this proton produces ammonia and this is anion. So this first step, these two steps are little complicated. So, and compared to that, the third step is pretty simple. So that's why it is the first step. So for example, you consider that you have started with 100 molecules of starting material and among 10 is converted into this alkene. So instantly these 10 will undergo second step. Okay, fine. Now, whenever this 10 comes into the second step, it will instantly convert into this product. So reaction will stop at this stage. I know it is little different type, but this is the reality. So reaction will stop here. So if you want to get the target product, I mean our alkyne, how can you get this? You need to acidify this. You may add water also, or you may add uh, dilute acid. Both are possible. I mean, dilute acid means what do we mean? H3O plus. So both way you can end up this terminal alkyne. So since it is terminal alkyne and it has this bond, so that's why thirds equivalent is essential. So here, what is the answer? Answer is three equivalent. This is because this is terminal alkyne, means this CH bond. Okay. So in this case, student, when such question asks, what is needed first? Your first of all, how much? Uh, cool mind you are reading this question and do you know the mechanism how this reaction happens and that's why it is needed to learn the mechanism properly so this is the end of this question i believe this video may be helpful to you if you really consider the content of this channel is worthy and helpful for you then please do subscribe this channel like the video and write some good comments in the comment box which motivates me a lot to make further videos for you and most importantly, please share among your friends such that they can also enjoy the benefit. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.